focusing on now is the metering. Well, Moedin Ibrahim is the Executive Secretary, Electricity Meters Manufacturing Association of Nigeria. Thank you for coming on today. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Chairman. Well, this is a very crucial part because we do know that uh, there's been several directives, several policies about metering. Everybody wants to be metered. Nobody likes estimated billing, especially if they think that they're being shortchanged. Where are we at the moment with that directive concerning metering everybody? Well, thank you so very much. Chamberlain, uh, that's a very weighty question. Uh, if I may put it outright, we have not really taken off with respect to metering in Nigeria. Why? Beautiful. Uh, we have meter manufacturers in Nigeria. The consumers are clamoring for meter. The discos are not metering them. And the discos are giving estimated billing. You see? Uh, there is a lacuna, there is a disconnect, there is a challenge. I don't want to use problem because I'm a very positive thinker. I don't use problem. So, but how to now come over this challenge is where is why I'm here, and uh, I will prefer some solutions yes. at the end of the day. But after that, too, the discos did say that the meter manufacturing companies do not have the capacity to meet up with their request. Is that correct? That is not correct. Because hmm. they say they're looking for smart meters, uh, that your meters are not quite smart. People tamper with them and they, they don't know. And they want a situation where when they meter people, uh, they want to be able to know what those meters are tampered with. I want to tell you emphatically that some of our members are producing what we call smart meters. What I mean by smart meter, that from the comfort of your bedroom, from the comfort of your office, you can actually interface with your meter. That is, you can load, you can recharge your meter, and your meter will talk to you via high tech that they have embedded into their meters. That is not correct. Perhaps the discos have not visited some of these meter manufacturers. I can tell you emphatically, and I want to also challenge this crew to pay a visit to all the manufacturers. Then you see for yourself. Seeing they say is what? Believing. Well, it was saying that made us ask those questions because we do know that our correspondent went around to some of the meter production companies. Fantastic. And we found out that they had loads and loads of meters. Nobody was buying them. Absolutely. Yet, the discos were refusing to give people meters. And, you know, and we were wondering what is going on. Uh, Sam Amadi was here. That's yeah. the, uh, I'm sure you saw him, chairman yeah. of NERC. I, I, and I, we I also had on the phone somebody who also produces meters who, you know, seemed to know what the problems are as well. So we're asking you just to confirm if it's true what the discos are saying. Well, uh, thank you very much for that good question. I want to answer your question, and I want to quote Chief of Obama of Blessed Memory. He said, and I quote, that I have never s said I have a monopoly of wisdom or knowledge. The challenge is that when some of my friends are drinking and whiling away their time, with women of easy, easy virtues. I, like others, we are always at our decks, thinking hard on how to solve the country's problems. Only the deep can call to the deep. In parentheses, unquote. We have some fantastic guys in this sector who have been in the system for the past 20, 15 years, and they have been operating before the advent of the new owners. When the new owner came, they rubbish all of them. They pushed them aside. But you can't give what you don't have. It is a statement of fact. You cannot give what you don't have. As it were now, the challenge is that they are not patronizing them. Whereas the meters are in the system already before they took over. Mm. So which guys? I mean, what it's exactly is a, is a challenge with the, uh, with the discourse? That is what I said in that my they're not opening. Patronizing the that people. was what I said in my opening salvo that there seems to be a connect, disconnect between the discos, neck, and the meter manufacturers. The question is, what is this disconnect? Beautiful. The disconnect is that, you know, neck, by the power conferred on it, with respect to Power Reform Act 2005, especially with respect to section, uh, section 32, subsection 1, and as well as 96, neck has a lot of powers you know, to regulate and to direct and to put everybody right, especially those who are operating within that purview, that is the power sector, you know. 
But as it were, there seems to be a lacuna. There seems to be a problem, a big one for that matter. When they took over, it appears they don't believe in anything made in Nigeria. That's the discourse. Mm. The discourse. So that for you is the major that disconnect. That is the challenge. They don't believe in, made believe in Nigeria in products. In Nigeria. And I have facts and figures, and I'm ready to tell you. Tell us about it. Very good, my brother. From the beginning, these guys have been operating, and they have been assisting the country. And that is why I said they have been thinking hard on how to move the country forward. And it is only the deep can call to the deep. So says so Shifa Bama, may Allah bless him more. But when they came, they pushed them aside. And perhaps they are enjoying the estimated billing on one side, mm -hmm. because it presupposes and the, 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 the distribution is not even coming with respect to, there is still erratic power supply. The only thing that is, there, is, there seems to be a little bit change now when Buhari took over. I don't know why there is change, because to a large extent, there seems to be constant power supply, relatively in some areas. But I haven't said that. Since they are enjoying estimated billing, they see no reason why they should meter everybody, whereas the consumers are clamoring to be metered. Okay, let me bring this in. I hope you don't lose your train of thought as you're speaking now, because you should go back to it later. Where were they getting meters from? If you say they pushed out the ones that existed. Some of them have not even brought any meters in. It is only one or two, just perhaps, let's call it spade a spade, that has imported meter in. But they've been talking about we will meter and provide meters. To it is all fallacy. It is paperwork. It is just on the pages of newspaper. I could recollect vividly when we wrote the Ministry of Trade, that was last year, Dr. Ganga singled out our letters, about four. He was so much concerned. You know, we got continue to be with the man. He now called us for a roundtable discussion, and that emanated into a stakeholders meeting. You know, that's the, the letter control. we wrote from uh, electricity meter manufacturers in Nigeria, Emma. We wrote a letter complaining about the treatment that is being meted to our members. Then Dr. Aganga now singled out those four letters, and that metamorphosized into what we call a stakeholders meeting. We had the meeting on December 11, 2014, at NEC office, Abuja. It comprises of this course the manufacturers, NEC, and the people from Ministry of Trade. Then, at the end of that stakeholders meeting, even consumer rights group, they were also there. Then, uh, uh, even the Jenkos, the transmission companies, they were part of that stakeholders meeting because it was encompassing. And at the end of that meeting, a communique, about 10 or 12 point communique, was issued out. And one of, or some of our prayers, the electricity metal manufacturers, are one, the discourse should prevail, and the next should prevail on the discourse to meet all the consumers that are clamoring for meter. Not only that, the second one is that, aside from that, that um, the, the neck now should come out with local content on the power sector. Which neck has done? They are done. I'm telling you, one of our prayers, I'm mm -hmm. coming. So, neck has done that. But the other prayer has not been answered or are yet to be answered. Which is to meet prayer? but then Don't you know, meet everybody. we understand and that. And to build on them to buy made in Nigeria meters. What was that your association, sorry mm. to interrupt you, but was your association asking that uh, NERC allows a situation where consumers are able to approach these meter sellers uh, directly and purchase the meters? There is, there is, uh, there is something on ground that you and I, or any consumer cannot approach anybody to buy meter. That's we, NERC's policy at the moment. Absolutely. Because it is only the discos at the moment that have the prerogative right mm -hmm. to buy meters. And to God be the glory, and we thank NEC for coming out with that local content. It is all inclusive and it is very, very good. Unfortunately, I think there is a lacuna with implementation, monitoring, and sanctioning. Do you buy their reason saying, look, let all the consumers not have direct access to I meter don't manufacturers. Buy, I don't buy that reason. It's one of the solutions I want to profile on this table. One, let everybody liberalize the military market. You will recall it vividly that before the advent of GSM, somebody said in this country that telephone is not meant for the poor. But to God be the glory, this same generation, every Tom, Dick, and Harry is now using GSM. And now I'm happy on channels 
you will say Google this, send I report. If there is no communication, telephone uh, emergence, who will not become? I'm sorry, bros, I'm sorry. The truth of the matter now is that unless that sector is liberalized, we can never get it right. I think that there is need for a policy trust to come out now. Let every liberalize it, let everybody go and buy it, and then they will not take it to the disco, put the metering code, they will take it to the electric um, meter testing station at the uh, Osho, they test it, they will test it, then they install the meter. Then it's going to be a win-win situation. But in a situation where it is only one party that is reaping the fruit, why can't consumers be paying for inefficiency and ineffectiveness of some people for gossip?